Hey folks, Daily Lions blog for November the 15th, 2018. And yes, we're coming up on number 1,000. What should we do for the 1,000th land blog? Land blog? Good we should pronounce land. it right. I've only done 945 of them or more than that. Land blog. How bad is that? Think about that, that little slur. Um, my name is Landsberg. I've actually done the Lands blog 950 times and I'm just speaking about how many we've done and... I still messed it up, so. We can never cut and do it nope. again. No, no, because everything else being perfect. Uh, I want to talk to you about, uh, actually I did it on purpose because I, I wanted to keep it light because this is going to be heavy. Uh, I have heard, uh, I mean, I think we at Sick Down Week hear regularly from people who are suicidal. And when I say we hear from them, it's not necessarily that they reach out to us and say, hey, Sick Down Week, or hey, Michael, or hey, Casey, or hey, Kim. Uh, it can be them on our social media making reference to it, not directly to us. And one of the things that I have found which is so common amongst people who are really struggling to stay alive is the fact that they go through cycles. So, I mean, for sure there are people who are, who are thinking about suicide 24 hours a day or as much as they're awake and they're probably not sleeping much. Uh, and it never goes away. But then it's really common for people to feel some relief from that and to be able to go, man, I'm so happy you know, that, I, that I'm alive and that I didn't take my life. And then they fall back into the hole and all of the things that they were sure of, that their life was worthwhile, that, um, that they could overcome this, they could fight this, all of those things disappear. And now all of a sudden they're back to thinking everything being negative, all the positives are gone. And it's like, my life isn't worth living. I'm totally hopeless. There's no way I'm ever going to get better. Nobody understands me. And I'm wondering, how can you go from positive to negative, from I want to live to I want to die? And how can when we get to that place where we want to die, how can we use the fact that we have been out of the hole before and we have been out of the hole recently to get us through it again? Because it seems like the ultimate tragedy if, if you're doing okay and then you fall into the hole and then you're doing okay and you fall into the hole and you're doing okay and you fall into the hole. And one of those times when you're in the hole, you actually take your life knowing um, and we know that you will make it out. So how do you use the decent times to teach yourself that when it gets really bad, you've got to remember the fact that you will make it out? Is there a way to leave yourself a reminder? I mean, is, is chronicling this in a book, uh, is, is that worthwhile? Help me understand, because I don't live that life. But if you do, First of all, let us know that you do live that life. Be really interested to hear, even if you have no ideas on how to, how to battle it. And number two, if you have battled that, if you feel like you have a technique that may help somebody else, let us know. Sicknoweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. It's the Daily Lamb Blog. Nice makeup, by the way. What? I see you're wearing a bit of makeup. I am at a photo shoot today at TSN. It's the first time I've had makeup on. I wore makeup every day of my life until I started doing radio. Well, I mean, not you every day of my life. You need to do it for the land blog. Yeah, you know what? The land blog. God, how could I do that? Why am I so stupid? Say I'm not. Yeah, I'm Say I'm not. You're not. Say, thank you.